Hi Sellersnap users, my name is Brittany and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use our customizable column feature. If you have admin permissions, you can create up to five customizable columns that can be added to your listings table. These custom columns are a great way for you to analyze data, make decisions, as well as add relevant information to your listings. And once they're created, will be available across all stores for users in the account. So to start, you'll need to go up to account, which can be found on the dashboard here in the top right hand corner. From here, we navigate to custom columns tab, and then we can click new customizable column. Our column feature allows you to choose from five different types of data, and I'll briefly give an example of each one. You can choose from a true or false statement. So maybe have your items been delivered, true or false. You have a date. So when the item was sourced or when you placed an order, here's a list. Maybe we want to create a drop down menu from all of the places where the items were sourced. A numeric. So for example, how many items you originally purchased and a string, which is essentially can be used as an additional notes or comment section. So for this demonstration, let's go ahead and create a column. Um, I'll title it sourced. And from the data type drop down menu, I'll choose list. Here we'll list all of the places where my items were sourced. So for example, we can add Walmart, Best Buy, let's add one more and click save. Let's go ahead and add another column. This one we'll call date sourced and we'll choose date as the data type and click save. Now that we've created and saved these two new columns, we go back to our listings table. And if you scroll through all these columns, you'll notice that they aren't here. The this is because they're currently hidden, but can be found and added through the columns tool. So I go into the columns tool and search for the name that we just gave it. And here's the two new ones, date sourced and sourced. So I'll show they end up being added here to the bottom. And just for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and hide these columns. So it's easy to view. Great. So now that it's loaded, you can see that like any other column, the date inside can be adjusted or changed inside the cells. So now for this product, I'm able to click the drop down menu and choose where it was sourced and add the date here. This can happen for all of these items now individually. Or there's also the option here to edit through bulk edit. So we can drop into the bulk edit menu and you'll notice here at the bottom, these two columns now exist, sourced and date sourced. So if I go into source, I can amend all of the listings in the bulk edit to this specific value that I want. And the same thing goes for the date. Don't forget to click complete update here. And now that it's reloaded, you can see that because I had everything selected, all of these now are sourced from Best Buy and I can do the same for the date range if I want to also. Please feel free to explore for more information in our knowledge base or to contact support if you have any more questions.